Hey everybody, hope you're having a great day. So this is going to be a lot more in-depth video than the last couple that were just on you know, really small definitions. This is the definition of pool, which received a simplification and also uh, an informational note. And then we're also going to talk about the definition of permanently installed pool. And that was something that desperately needed to be fixed. Um, Hey, you know, I, I can say this, I'm on code making panel 17, the guys that do pools, and uh, yeah, the definition of permanently installed pools had a fatal flaw in the 2023, so good that we got this fixed. Um, unfortunately, one of the informational notes that we're going to, that we added, that we're going to talk about, uh, came as a result of a, of a death of a young girl in, uh, in the Houston, Texas area. Uh, she was drowned, and... You know, if, if that's something that you don't want to hear about, you know, maybe maybe that hits close to home for you. Uh, you know, maybe this will be a, a good video for you to skip. And nobody's going to think any less of you if you don't want to, you know, hear about a, a young person meeting a, a really untimely end. So with that said, let's go ahead and uh, talk about what happened here in the 2026 code. So the definition of pool was simplified and two informational notes were added. All right, so what is a pool? Well, that would be equipment that's designed to contain water for swimming, recreation, wading, immersion, or therapeutic use. So we had a bunch of words that just didn't need to be there. I think we talked about, you know, on a permanent or semi-permanent or temporary basis, which, okay, well, pretty much covers everything, right? You know, it's, it's like saying it's either hot or cold or in somewhere in between, you know? So, yeah, we simplified the definition. We added the word recreation because we really wanted to clarify, like, one of the things that we discussed far longer than we needed to was whether or not a, uh, like, a cooling tank, a cooling reservoir at an industrial facility is a swimming pool. Well, obviously not, right? Now, will people get in there if they have to, you know, clean a pump or do something? Well, sure. Does that make it a swimming pool? Well, of course not, right? It's for swimming, recreation, wading, immersion, or therapeutic use. We had an informational note here to clarify that a leisure river is a pool. Now, the term lazy river you might be familiar with. Uh, lazy river originally was a trademark term, right? The company that invented it called it a lazy river and it was a trademark. So in the NEC, we're very, very careful to not use trademark terms. So a leisure river is what these things are called generically. So if you call it a lazy river, I'm certainly not gonna call the pool police on you, but know why we call it a, le a leisure river instead of a lazy river. Okay. Here's why we had to add this, because maybe you're looking at this and you're saying, well, yeah, of course a leisure river is a pool. Well, not so fast. What happened, and oh, this was just absolutely horrible. There, there was a, a leisure river, and a, uh, a young girl basically got, got sucked in by one of the pumps that was supposed to be pushing water out. Um, from my understanding, and I allegedly, you know, doing, saying all those things, I don't, I can't say it for certain. I didn't see it. But one of the guys on panel 17 helped investigate it. And he was very close to the situation. And what it sounds like is the pump motor was miswired. They, they, they uh, reversed it, right? They reversed the, uh, the rotation on the motor. So instead of pushing water, it was sucking water. And of course, when it was pushing water, there wasn't a grate over this 12 inch diameter duct that brought the water out. Well, when it started pulling water, it needed to have a grate to keep people from getting sucked into it. And that's exactly what happened. So it was tragic, it, um, but you know, when something like that happens, we look at our codes and standards and we determine if something needs to change. Now, I don't know that the code needed to change because what could we possibly change? You know, make a rule that says don't wire your motors backwards? Well, I mean, that's kind of already a rule, right? So we couldn't change the code to, present, to prevent a loss of life, but we could at least make people aware and remind people, listen, a leisure river is a pool. You need to wire it like a pool. You need to follow Article 680. You need to follow Part 1 and Part 2 of Article 680. So that was the clarification of how this got added into the code. We also added a second informational note, and this is kind of what I was talking about before, where it's one thing to say, okay, these things are pools, but it's also useful to say these things are not pools. So we added a note saying bodies of water like lakes, lagoons, surf parks, or bodies of water used for industrial purposes are not pools. 
All of those are covered in Article 682, which is natural or artificially made bodies of water. All right, so here in Washington, D.C., um, right between the Washington Memorial and the Lincoln Memorial, we have this big, long body of water. It's not designed for swimming. It, it's there to just be something that you can look at and enjoy, right? It's not supposed to be swam in. So that would be an example of not a swimming pool, but a natural or artificially made body of water. Now, because there's really no electrical associated with this body of water, to, to the best of my knowledge, uh, there's really nothing that we would have to worry about in the code. I mean, there's no electricity, so there's nothing to worry about. The other definition was a permanently installed pool. Um, above ground pools are now addressed in the definition. Yeah, um, oops, we didn't have these in the 2023 code. So in the 20, read this without the new language. Pools that are built or installed in or partially in the ground. Okay, so what about an above ground pool? Or a pool that's on a roof, right? Obviously, those are pools, but they we kind of screwed it up. So pools that are built or installed in or on or partially in the ground, as well as any pool that's in or on a building, regarding, regardless of any connections to electrical circuits. Okay, well, certainly that is a swimming pool here in the photograph, right? We have an in-ground pool at a hotel. That was a pool yesterday. It's a pool today. It's going to be a pool tomorrow, right? We know what that is. But let's talk about this thing. This would be a, a, an above ground pool. In the 2023, I don't really think we had a name for this. We were supposed to, <laughs> but you know, the code's written by humans and humans make mistakes, man. You know, we all do, we're, we're not perfect. So that's an above ground pool. Obviously it's intended to be a permanently installed pool. And in the 2026, it is indeed a permanently installed pool. Same thing with this pool here. Here's a rooftop pool that's under the course of construction. So yeah, when they build this, um, you know, if we zoom in a little bit, we might be able to see rebar all around the pool deck, right? Where we've got our luminaires. You can see a couple of conduits sticking up where we're gonna have a pool junction box, all that stuff. This of course is a pool. In the 2023 code, uh, I don't know. It was, a, it was a hole in the roof with a bunch of water in it. I don't know what you called it in the 2023. In the 2020, it was a pool. The 2023, it was a black hole. In the 2026, it's a pool once again. So there you go. A couple of uh, good clarifications. Again, it was, you know, kind of sucks that sometimes we, uh, you know, it, it takes a tragedy to before you know that there's a misunderstanding or something that needs to be fixed. But, you know, all you can do is, is learn from it, right? You can't go back and undo it, but you can learn from it. And uh, hopefully we did, and hopefully it never happens again. So there you have it. There's your definition of pool and permanently installed pool. And in fact, that's all the definitions that we're gonna talk about in this series of videos. I promised I wasn't gonna do, you know, 30 videos on pools, and I'm not. We did four videos on uh, definitions. Hopefully that's enough. So next time we're going to jump into Article 110, and we're actually going to start talking about some of the requirements that changed. I hope to see you then, and I hope you'll be safe out there. See you next time.